I want to hear about Thailand. Tell me everything about Thailand. Start off like uh, <sighs> Thailand, the land of smiles. That the place is amazing. Um, great people, great atmosphere, fighting spirit. Eat, sleep, train. It's like once I got there, um, I went to this gym called Pet Yindi, and um, the first day I got there, everyone was like super welcoming. They're just like, "Oh, like welcome," showing me around uh, around Bangkok, everything. And um, I think within the first week of being there, I just knew I was like, "I'm I'm here for a long time." It's just so new. Everything's so convenient. And street food, flip flop shorts every day. Like just. Never ending summer. Yeah. So, how did you find yourself there? What was your motivation for going? A um, couple things. So, losing the Johnny Walker fight um, and seeing that I was like, I got tied up in the clinch. I didn't really know what to do. Um, I was like, man, like, I've got to learn some clinch work. I got to learn what this stuff is about. So, um, that that's what caused me to look like okay if I'm gonna go learn this then I want to go to the heart of where it's from but then in that whole process I thought about some friends that I have that are um, Muay Thai fighters in the States and I thought about how they were when they came back and these guys were so disciplined like they would run like 5k before you know before training before they even hit pads they're out running so I kind of wanted that same passion that same drive before I go train to just be self-motivated to you know, just to get after it and not have to wait on like a class to start or coaches. So um, I thought that I'd get it there. And so um, after a few weeks of like contemplation and hesitation, I finally was able to, to take the flight over. And um, I, I think I ended up getting everything I was looking for and more. Yeah. So are you gonna stay here? Was this just forever? Yeah, that's my, that's my plan is that uh, like after this fight, just, going there at least for a year um i was i did a, a couple months in bangkok just training muay thai in the off season and then as soon as i found out i had a fight coming up then i did like the six or seven weeks in phuket at tiger muay thai and um and that ended up being a really good place to train they got guys from all levels all around the world that show up every day 60 people on the mat sometimes you know 80 people and it's like um and the evolution of people is, is great too. Some guys will come for a vacation for a week and want to get some good training in, and then so there's a good cycle. Um, and I thought for me, this is great. Like after training, I can go to the beach and just relax, peace and quiet by myself, um, live super cheap, and like just focus on, on fighting and not have so many like outer distractions. So um, yeah, I thought after this fight, I'll go there for a year and kind of continue this this foundation so, um, how does it feel you know you have a lot of highlight reels and KOs and, and moments in your how does it feel now to be on the other end of that to be on somebody else's reels is that <laughs> no it's okay it's, it's really okay like um it doesn't hurt anymore that's a good thing I think the first week of watching it I couldn't really watch it like I'd see it online and I'd just be like oh god I can't watch this but um, I remember being at a bar and they had like biggest knockouts of 2018 you know and like mine was up there and I was just like oh come on like it so now it's it's like I realize it, it happens um, and it's just a part of it's a part of fighting and it's a part of my journey and so like I get to watch myself you know take a you know a devastating knockout and then I also will be able to see highlights of myself later you know just coming back from that so like kind of watching I have to take a like a step back like a bird's eye view and kind of watch my story and, and motivate myself from far away to like to elevate the blip in your story mm -hmm. yeah so um johnny walker has kind of flows like really fast and do you think that's warranted do you think he's he is what he's being built up to be or do you think he maybe is one of those yeah so i was i was talking to, to ariel a little bit ago and um i believe in johnny walker like his size his skill his talent his athleticism um his character like i, I believe him the guy's the guy's the real deal um, but what I don't want to see is um, them push him to the top too early. Like, 
he, I want to see more of what he's doing now against, you know, like let it let him climb. Like if he's knocking people out in the first round and it ha and it happens 10 times, like let him have that to to carry into like a title fight. Don't let him have just three or four first round knockouts, one brutal fight and it's like, "Okay, this guy's ready." Like no, like I feel it for myself that it's just like a lot of times we're really hungry to get to the top because being UFC fighters, it can be a very short career. You lose three fights and you're done. You know, like, so we're kind of like holding on, like, oh, I gotta get there as fast as I can instead of like, oh, I'm here. I can, I can grow and develop and, you know, and, and showcase my skills on the way to the top. So I would like to see that for him. I would like to see more ways of him expressing his you know his talent and his gifts instead of just like see two more fights and then him fighting like John Jones like I think that'd be an awesome an awesome fight but I want to see more um, well, I think that it seems like they're bringing a lot of new guys in as well. So, um, I mean, just like, like I had to do, I was, I got into the UFC pretty early and then like Tyson Pedro, Daniel Jolly, um, Johnny Walker, um, I think there might be one more that I that weren't even in the UFC yet that I had to go up and face, and they were game opponents. So there's guys out there besides Johnny Walker that will give him a test, or besides the guys that are on the roster that can test him, and I speak from experience. So I think that the UFC, if they want to build the light heavyweight division, like they can bring some more guys in and, and really like make this a make this a big party. It is pretty difficult, and I think about like I think about like how the champions have been working. Right, a lot of the guys are just like they get the belt and they get injured or like take some time off or whatever it may be. Um, and I know that that's the goal, and like we want to see the champions fight more and things like that. But um, like I want to see some, I want to see more action from the actual fighters, and like kind of mix that up, and then yeah, like yeah, start to throw us up, you know, start to throw us up there. Um, but I know that people want to see someone beat John Jones. You know, like people want to see that happen. Um, I don't know. It's hard to it's, it's hard to call. I want to see good fights and the, uh, to beat him. Um, I mean, I believe that I can. I'm not saying like right now, like yeah, John Jones, I want to you know fight. But um, uh, yeah, I believe it'd be a, a great fight. I believe that um, I believe that I'm smart enough. I believe that I have the power, and a lot of my skills are developing to where like I have this 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 belief in myself that like. It's not going to be an easy fight, you know, it's definitely going to be uh, a lot of thinking and, and strategy because I believe he's one of the smartest fighters in the game, um, if not the smartest, so yeah, I think I think it'd be good. Well, just win. <laughs> That's always... No, no, I mean, like, my, my prediction, my expectation, my intention, everything is just to win, and I don't, like... I don't say like, oh, I'm going for this this knockout. If you're a fan of me and you watch my fights, you know what to look for. So if I say I'm going to win, it could be by a soccer kick. It could be by a left hand. It, I, I might even squeak out a decision. You know, like, Who knows? But um, every time I go in there, I set my intention on winning. And I got plenty of tools now to, to help that happen. Main event, um, I'm rooting for Poye, um, just because him and I, like, he reached out to me before on social media, like, like a year, year, two years ago, and I was like, oh man, like, cool, thank you, and so, like, it's been, like, a constant, like, back and forth support, um, I follow his journey a little bit more, and, um, I would just really love to see him get, get that belt, and, like, you know, excuse me, after, after so long, and, 
I would love to see that. And uh, excuse me again, uh, co-main event. I'm going. I'm going easy. <laughs> he might. I, he might be able to read my mind right now. You know what I mean? This guy's got crazy talent. Um, no, cool guy. Um, and I love. I love the style. I love the. You know the 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 new age of this like striking that he's bringing. So I want to see. I want to see more of that. Yeah. Awesome. That's all we need. Not that you're okay.